the key to the sorrows. That was well done. Indeed, everything you have done is more than I could have possibly hoped for. My reliance on you to this point was never my initial plan. I only needed Cadarock dead at the hands of someone else. But when I learned how willing you were to hound the Tuatha, I saw you would rise to every occasion. You became my faithful instrument. Um, something kind of tells me that I'm just gonna be wanting to kill you. So, uh, maybe you could tell me what you're on about before I stab you. How could Saturnin have eluded the minds of so many for these long years? Simple. He was a ruse. His existence was fabricated. While all eyes watched for Saturnin, another was free to wage his war. Namely, me. All for the glory of Gadflow and our god. When you killed the Baylor, I saw an opportunity to end the house and the mortal army simultaneously. You became my road to a perfect victory. Well, I knew it. So, um... Why bother with these ruses, I guess? You mean, why not announce my intent in a more obvious and boorish, or shall we say, mortal manner? I had to have the sorrows, but they were lost. It took years before I even learned of the eldest, much less their location. To reach the eldest, I needed this house to die. To do that, I needed a rebellion. To do that, I needed an assassination. And to do that, I needed you. Or perhaps just somebody that was actually, you know, good. But then again, I am kind of good, so uh, you're not the Tuatha then. True, I do not share the face of my brethren. As I explained to Gadflow, it was a necessary part of the plan. I have not worn this mask without sacrifice. Too long have I gone without feeling the warmth of Prismir or the love of my god. But soon, soon this will end, and I can take my rightful place again. So then you'll just want to be Tuatha then. Well, I guess I'm going to have to kill you, so, uh, you all right. You me with death as though it is some great finality. We might both testify to the contrary. I don't know, I got superpowers. Use your inevitable resistance. But if you have any sense, then you already know that you cannot reach me nor follow me. We part ways here. Find comfort, at least, that you will be long dead before the sorrows flood the minds of your mortal armies. Mercer will cut you down here. Farewell. Are you sure about that? Which one's Mercer again? Oh, these guys. All right. You guys want to help kill some Tuatha? No, they're gonna kill the elders. Oh, yeah, that's probably true, I guess. But uh, if they're really eldest, then they probably wouldn't die from something like this. Oh, great, my bow just broke. All right, let me repair it with one of my tens of thousands of repair. Oh, my mantis legs are also broken. Where's my bow again? Did I fix it all the way? I think I did. Alright, sweeties. Well, let me just go ahead and repair them all then. Alright. Anybody else? Oh, I see somebody running around like a chicken back there. Oh, I'll save you. Oh, sweet ass, that was a super combo right there. Oh, wait, you're still alive. I don't even see you back there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, take the uh, other knife lady. My uh, mage man will probably smite you with his uh, powerful spells while I attack you right here in this corner. Sucks for you, mate. Got anything good on you. Oh, that's right rubbish, there he is. You survived. For better or worse, I know not. The house is in ruins. The eldest lie butchered. And Bizarain has betrayed us to the Tawatha. He must be denied. For our honored sorrow, our broken pride, our due vengeance. He cannot be allowed to use the house for war. So then how can we stop him? Well, I am pretty sure I'm just gonna rip him to shreds with my fate powers, but uh, where exactly is he so I can do all that? 
he is at the birthplace of summer and winter, where the Weeping King first pooled the anguish and decay inherent in all winter fae, Ashara. It is the plane from which all fae descend when they are reborn, and to which they return when they die. It is a place of pure magic. I fear you may have had enough of secrets, but here is mine. I am the Weeping King reborn. Visere needed a key to reach the sorrows. I do not. Oh, sweet ears. So, um... I guess, um... Well, actually, I actually kind of curious, but are you sure you're the Weeping King? Because I kind of thought that being reincarnated, you would just go back into maybe the same gender. Unless you're all, you know, they, thems, and theses, I guess. I did not always know. When you went to Damor Rock, I meditated beneath the gallows tree. And a part of me that had long slumbered awakened. It makes sense now. Why I could practice delving when all had lost the art. Why I can commune with sorrows. Be it fate or chance. We must take advantage of this. I I think that as the Weeping King, I can bring us to the sorrows in time to stop Viserain. Well, you kind of lived your whole life and you're just now figuring out that you're some lost Weeping King. So exactly where's Ishara? It is both near and far. Well, don't give me that, please. It will be difficult for a mortal to understand. Ishara is an ethereal plane. All right. The realm of existence. That's more unlike it. In the Midden, the barrier between this realm and Ashara is weak, and we can exploit that. Well, let's exploit away. I, I do not know what will happen if I attempt to bring you into Ashara, but you have a strong will. That alone may save you. Um, this rain has a head start on us. However short, it is likely still enough. Be on your guard. We must hurry. Um, I'm having second thoughts about this. I'm not going to get teleported inside of, like, a wall or something like that, am I? Oh, sweet ass. I'm outside, in the fresh air. You. You have a strong force of will. Stronger than I felt possible. I have never heard tell of a mortal that could stand in a Why is everything all white and light? I... I can recall now. Vaguely. I walked this place before. And shaped the ground. That tree in the center. It is the embodiment of the sorrows. Viserain will be there, but he has prepared himself. This barrier keeps us from him, and there are other magics at work. All right. Um, can we destroy this barrier then? Yes, we can. I can sense the conduits the magic follows, and there are weak points, nexuses of energy that we can exploit. But Viserain is no fool. He will not leave them unguarded. And I feel strange presences. There is something waiting, mortal. Something dreadful. Alright. Well, how do we lower the barrier then? Viserain is correct in that he can manipulate the magic of this place, but we can manipulate it as well, if not as easily. The barrier is strong, but it feeds off nexuses of energy and those of vulnerable. We must destroy them to reach Viserain. Well, then let's get to it then. We must hurry. Oh, sweet ace, you're gonna lead the way? Well, that's what I'm talking- Oh, wait. I'm gonna let me take the lead, I guess. We... we meet again, mortal. Can I... can I truly be here? Standing before the sorrows? Didn't I kill you? No... no swords. Fire. And then... and then... nothing. But he brought me back to... fight you. I cannot... Res I can't... I'm sorry, mortal. So, so sorry. That's okay, I'll just kill you again. <laughs> Sucks for you, there. There we go. Yeah, no problem at all. Oh, wait. Oh, the assembly and she's... Didn't see them. Oh, sweet ears, I killed them both at the same time. Oh, I don't want any of your crap. All right, there's one down. All right, there's one down. And uh, three more to go. Well, I'm really liking that y'all deciding to lead the way. That shows initiative, especially for one that's a king. Must be quick about what? 
Oh, um, hello there. Just gonna sneak on past you and uh, push that button over there. You dare tread here. Um, yes, actually. A mortal dare shows himself in the sacred lands of the House of Sorrow. I think you mean herself. Thank you very much. Time, and already I learned so much since he raised me. You are the cause of all this. Bizarain relied on you for his plans. Because of you, the house is dead. Well, not quite. Um, it was still him that very much did this. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Alright, you attack him, I'll distract him. Or oh, I guess I will you distract him, I'll attack him. Alright, time to give you that wombo combo. Because you need to die. Oh no, come back here, please. There you go. Alright. Oh, I'll take your lunch money, that's for damn certain. Oh, I should probably craft some potions while I'm at it. Next time I see an alchemy station, that's exactly what I'll do. Unless you can craft me some potions. No? Not really? Alright. I think I remember seeing some of these little heads in another place. I can't exactly remember. Oh. Can I just shoot him from here and be done with it? Finally, you have come. I must admit... I did not give you credit when last we faced each other, but now I am here. You know, I'm just gonna kill you again, My right? Master has raised me to protect his labors, and I will oblige him. You may have bested me previously, but you will not do so again. Actually, I pretty Perhaps much will. I take your head here. My master will have faith in me once again. Shall we find out? No, not really. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, you guys want to play, uh, you guys want to play, uh, surround me and uh, attack me, right? Well, you're all going to die now. And one of you is going to die a very horrible and painful death, too. Oh, somebody is firing at me. Oh, I couldn't even see it. Oh, I couldn't even see that, so that wasn't very fair. Excuse me, I'm trying to attack this bloke right here. Alright, so you get to die a horrible, painful death. Sorry about this, but your brain's getting smashed. Well, now that it's... Um, excuse me, are you going to help me out with this mercy man? I mean, he's just kind of, you know... Kind of just dilly dallying on me. We well, you could have helped me quickly destroy that guy. Well, I guess you didn't want to. I'll take your essence of fate. There's probably more around, but I haven't really used any. Alright, one more, right? We must be quick. I'm actually running faster than you, so uh, stop that. And so you have finally reached me. I have waited, mortal. The longest of any I have waited. And now, Viserain has raised me against my will to be part of his design. Wait a minute, weren't you the I other guy that I fought it. first? I found the plan he had conspired, and I fled the house, for I knew not what to do. But I could have stopped this scheme. And then you came and killed me. Well, coulda, shoulda, woulda. And now I am a puppet to his will. He cannot be stopped, mortal. Bizarrain cannot be stopped. Well, uh, you can if I just rip his uh, fate to shreds, I suppose. I really hope there's nothing behind me about to stab me. Oh, of course. Spiders. My number one fear, I guess. Oh, boy. Don't worry, I got you. Alright, giant spider, it's time for you to get dead. Alright, got him. Got him all. Squish him all with the big boot. 
on, we'll take your healing potion, because I'm gonna need that. And let's go ahead and confront the Bizarrean guy, shall we? Was that your stomach? Or was that my stomach? I am kinda hungry. Oh yeah, you defeat him before dinner time, I get you. Of your past I could conjure, and the barrier has fallen. So now, we are here. You think your presence here can stay my spells? The last words have been uttered. You are too late to stop me. How about please stop? I cannot. You do not understand Fey, mortal. What I do is for the good of all the Winter Kingdom. There are fires coming to this world. I have only glimpsed a fleeting shadow of them, and I am awed and scared and humbled. Well, that sucks for you, doesn't it? will be able to bear these tribulations, so they must survive this war. Now, you understand why I must fight. I have to fight. Um, I would very much like some help with this one, if you wouldn't mind. Seriously though, I would very much like some help. If you wouldn't mind walking this way. Alright. Tinder can go and fight her. I'll deal with this bloke. That I can do. Oh great, now I got some land she's. Um, if you could just back away. This is a fight between uh two people that are kind of interested in killing each other. You know what, how about you die? Oh, sweet is. She killed him. I don't think she would actually handle him. Um, excuse me. Can you just come over here to my daggers? I got excellent tracking, by the way. So, uh, probably don't... Excuse me. Don't spew out your stuff at me, please. That's right, you go fight her over there. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of him. Alright, you know what? How about this? Let's take care of you. Um, did something happen? Oh great, now we got all of these little guys. These little skellies. Well, as long as they're not attacking me, I guess that's fine. I am perfectly alright with it. Oh, sweet ass. Alright, time for you all to get dead again. Starting with you, bruh. Alright. Well, bro, it's time for you to die a horrible and painful death because I'm sick and tired of your little shite. So sorry about this, but not really. Yeah, and by the way, I was aiming for your head on that one, so, uh, yeah. Aaron may be dead, but the death blow is still his. The sorrows have already begun escaping their seal. We need to act quickly, or this will all be for nothing. I must seal the sorrows within myself. What are sorrows again? Um, all right, then get to it, I guess. Agreed, but please be witness to this last act. 
Tell the world what happened here. How the House of Sorrows ended. Does this mean I get to be king? The burden of being the last of us mortal. I am sorry I can offer you no more than my thanks. I pray that is enough. We must hurry. Oh, sweetie, yes, that means I'm like king of five different places. Hold on, I need to take all of these guys' lunch money first. Oh, hey, I was almost there. I have a bear witness. Oh, sweet ace, it's story time. And I'm now a child of autumn. Well, that's kind of rubbish. Oh, sweet ace. The jester of the King of Winter, the fool who made a mockery of life, of everything, languished in a discontent. He heard the whisperings of power, felt its pulse. He saw visions of an endless winter, of a totality of nothingness. He was Gadflow. And he would follow the cycle no longer. Wait, so that means if I kill him, then he's uh, dead for good, right? Oh, also, sorry that you're now uh, kind of dead. The staff feels cold to the touch and resembles the wood of the sorrows tree of Ishara. Well, I guess I'll take that. It's now mine. Thank you very much. And I think I'm supposed to go see some people. But first, we're going to deal with this punk.